In physics, a plasmon is a quantum of plasma oscillation. The plasmon can be considered a quasi-particle since it arises from the quantization of plasma oscillations, just like phonons are quantizations of mechanical vibrations. Thus, plasmons are collective oscillations of the free electron gas density, for example, at optical frequencies. Plasmons can couple with a photon to create another quasi-particle called a plasma polariton. Since plasmons are the quantization of classical plasma oscillations, most of their properties can be derived directly from Maxwell's equations. Explanation Plasmons can be described in the classical picture as an oscillation of free electron density with respect to the fixed positive ions in a metal. To visualize a plasma oscillation, imagine a cube of metal placed in an external electric field pointing to the right. Electrons will move to the left side until they cancel the field inside the metal. If the electric field is removed, the electrons move to the right, repelled by each other and attracted to the positive ions left there on the right side. They oscillate back and forth at the plasma frequency until the energy is lost in some kind of resistance or damping. Plasmons are a quantization of this kind of oscillation. Role of plasmons Plasmons play a large role in the optical properties of metals. Light of frequencies below the plasma frequency is reflected, because the electrons in the metal screen the electric field of the light. Light of frequencies above the plasma frequency is transmitted, because the electrons cannot respond fast enough to screen it. In most metals, the plasma frequency is in the ultraviolet, making them shiny in the visible range. Some metals, such as copper and gold, have electronic interband transitions in the visible range, whereby specific light energies are absorbed, yielding their distinct color. In semiconductors, the valence electron plasma frequency is usually in the deep ultraviolet, which is why they are reflective. The plasmon energy can often be estimated in the free electron model as where is the conduction electron density, is the elementary charge, is the electron mass, the permittivity of free space, the reduced Planck constant and the plasmon frequency. Surface plasmons Surface plasmons are those plasmons that are confined to surfaces and that interact strongly with light resulting in a polariton. They occur at the interface of a vacuum and material with a small positive imaginary and large negative real dielectric constant. He play a role in surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy and in explaining anomalies in diffraction from metal gratings, among other things. Surface plasmon resonance is used by biochemists to study the mechanisms and kinetics of ligands binding to receptors. Surface plasmon may also be observed in the X ray emission spectra of metals. A dispersion relation of surface plasmon in the X ray emission spectra of metals has been derived. More recently surface plasmons have been used to control colors of materials. This is possible since controlling the particle's shape and size determines the types of surface plasmons that can couple to it and propagate across it. This in turn controls the interaction of light with the surface. These effects are illustrated by the historic stained glass which adorn medieval cathedrals. In this case, the color is given by metal nanoparticles of a fixed size which interact with the optical field to give the glass its vibrant color. In modern science, these effects have been engineered for both visible light and microwave radiation. Much research goes on first in the microwave range because at this wavelength material surfaces can be produced mechanically as the patterns tend to be of the order of few centimeters. To produce optical range surface plasmon effects involves producing surfaces which have features less than 400 nm. This is much more difficult and has only recently become possible to do in any reliable or available way. Recently, graphene has also shown to accommodate surface plasmons, observed via near-field infrared optical microscopy techniques and infrared spectroscopy. Potential applications of graphene plasmonics mainly address the terahertz to mid-infrared frequencies, such as optical modulators, photodetectors, biosensors. Possible applications, position and intensity of plasmon absorption and emission peaks are affected by molecular adsorption, which can be used in molecular sensors. For example, a fully operational prototype device detecting casein in milk has been fabricated. 
the device is based on detecting a change in absorption of a gold layer. Localized surface plasmons of metal nanoparticles can be used for sensing different types molecules, proteins, etc. Plasmons are being considered as a means of transmitting information on computer chips, since plasmons can support much higher frequencies. However, for plasmon-based electronics to be useful, the analog to the transistor, called a plasmonster, first needs to be created. Plasmons have also been proposed as a means of high-resolution lithography and microscopy due to their extremely small wavelengths. Both of these applications have seen successful demonstrations in the lab environment. Finally, surface plasmons have the unique capacity to confine light to very small dimensions which could enable many new applications. Surface plasmons are very sensitive to the properties of the materials on which they propagate. This has led to their use to measure the thickness of monolayers on colloid films, such as screening and quantifying protein binding events. Companies such as Biocore have commercialized instruments which operate on these principles. Optical surface plasmons are being investigated with a view to improve makeup by Laura Copyright Owl among others. In 2009, a Korean research team found a way to greatly improve organic light emitting diode efficiency with the use of plasmons. A group of European researchers led by IMEC has begun work to improve solar cell efficiencies and costs through incorporation of metallic nanostructures that can enhance absorption of light into different types of solar cells, crystalline silicon, high performance 3V, organic, and dye sensitized solar cells. Full color holograms using plasmonics have been demonstrated. See also References Stefan Mayer. Plasmonics, Fundamentals and Applications. Springer. ISBN A 978 0 387-33150-8. -er, Michael G. Cockham and David Artilly. Introduction to Surface and Superlattice Excitations. Cambridge University Press. ISBN A 0 521 32154 9A. Heinz Rether. Excitation of Plasmons and Interband Transitions by Electrons. Springer Verlag. ISBN A 0 387 09677 9A. Barnes, W. L. D. Ray, A. Epson TW Surface Plasmon Subwavelength Optics. Nature 424, 824 a Euro 830. Bibcode, 2003 Nature 424824 B. doi, 10.1038 Nature 01937. PMIDA 12917696 Zaites, A. V. Smolyaninov, I. I. Maradudin, A. A. Nano Optics of Surface Plasmon Polaritons. Physics Reports 408, 131 A Euro 314. Bibcode, 2005 PHR. 408 131 Z DOI, 10.1016 J. Fieserep. 2004.11.001 A, Atchwater, Harry The Promise of Plasmonics. Scientific American 296, 56 a Euro 63 doi, 10.1038 slash scientific America no 407-56. PMIDA 17479631 a, Otsbay, Ekmal. Plasmonics, Merging Photonics and Electronics at Nanoscale Dimensions. Science 311, 189 a Euro 193. Bibcode, 2006 Sci. 311-189-0-DOI-10.1126-Science-1114849. PMIDA-16410515-A, Schaller, John. Barnard, Edward. Kai, Wenchen. John, Youngshu. White, Justin. Brongisma, Mark L. Plasmonics for Extreme Light Concentration and Manipulation. Nature Materials 9, 193 Euro 204. Bibcode, 2010 Natmar. 9193 S doi, 10.1038 slash mat 2630. 
PMIDA 20,168,343 A, Bronisma, Mark. Shalev, Vladimir. The Case for Plasmonics. Science 328, 440 Euro 441. Bibcode, 2010 Psi. 328440 BDOI, 10.1126-Science 1186905 External links, a selection of free download papers on plasmonics in New Journal of Physics, http, www.plasmonicfocus.com, http, www.pages nl, http, www.coop.acutkinsp1html, HTTP, www.nano-optics.org.uk, Plasmonic Computer Chips Move Closer, Progress at Stanford for Using Computers, Slash Dot, A Plasmonic Revolution for Computer Chips? A Microscope from Flatland Physical Review Focus, January 24, 2005, HTTP, NWIKINI's Organ Visibility Shield Gets Blueprint, HTTP, www.plasmanonodevices.org, http, www.eu-plas.org, http, www.plasmacon.org, test the limits of plasmonic technology, http, www.activeplasmonics.org, http, www.plasmonics.org, http,